Guys, could you believe it could even fall where I'm standing? But first things first, experts say you're more likely to get struck by lightning or win the lotto than you are to get hit with space station debris. The middle of the work week, your head may just be in outer space, but bringing people back to Earth? Little heavy information for a Wednesday morning. News the Chinese space station is expected to make an uncontrolled re entry to Earth as early as this weekend. No, we're not saying April Fools. Like what? Like, <laughs> you've seen movies about it, you've seen it in TV shows, never thought, you know, anything like that could really potentially happen. I guess all things kind of fall apart. Experts say there's a chance debris from the school bus sized space station known as Tiangong 1 could end up in New Jersey. I'm actually going down to uh, Cape May, so hopefully that's far enough. Samuel Chen says you can run, but. If it happens, it's my luck, right? <laughs> Majority of the spacecraft will burn upon re entry, and experts say much of the debris is likely to end up in the ocean. Bottom of that ocean is full of dead satellites. The problem here is that China has lost control, and so you can't fire retro rockets or control where it comes down. And Bill Ayler with the Aerospace Corporation shows with a recovered chunk of rocket, anything is possible. Before this one came down, people said, ah, these things don't survive. This one proved that they did. But to bring us back to Earth, odds of getting hit with debris is less than one in one trillion. They can't wait for it to happen. I'd like to get a piece. This New Jersey resident says he'd put it on eBay. Unfortunately for his wallet, we won't know even the day of the event where it's going to be exactly. So brace yourself for impact. And it's probably not a good idea to pick up any debris if you do say it, because experts say it could contain toxic material. Reporting live in Teterboro, New Jersey, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. All right, Jenna, thank you.